All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harbukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm going to start out the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. And it reads Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful in truth. Fear not. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And you best believe of us preaching the word of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, a lot of people are going to come against us. See, we live in an anti-Messiah world, an anti-Messiah society where the Bible is getting X'd out, right? Everything about the Bible, everything ha that has to deal with righteousness, you can see they're moving to X all of these things out the best they can, right? You see the world, the way the world where, where it's going. Everything is going left, right? The things that used to be shunned and looked down upon, well, these things are now being what? These things are now being held. In an honorable state You see Things that were uh, You know Things that were light Or things that were dark Is now being put as light Things that are light Is being now put as dark Vice versa You know Bitter for sweet Sweet for bitter As the scriptures say Matter of fact Let's go get that real quick Let's go to the book Of Isaiah Chapter 5 verse 20 it says woe to them that call evil good And good evil That put darkness for light And light for darkness That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter And this is what you see happening Right This is what you see happening Of gross darkness On the earth Gross darkness to people These people are void of light And these people that are void of light They're going to what they're going to be against They're going to attack you Right They're going to attack the ones Who possess the light And who possess the light Is the elect But even the ones that You know You know Show some forth of You know Against This left hand energy This left hand wickedness Well you're going to there's, You're going to be attacked as well Right So verse 3 again it says Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity means, you know, just going into these unbelievers of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You have a lot of unbelievers that's going to come against you because they're in a state of fear of, you know, this whole Omarion situation that you have going on that's sweeping through the earth. You know, as this, you know, the, the, uh, the sea, you know, Letter D And the other letter C Speaking of Right Verse 4 For all the unfaithful shall die In their unfaithfulness And you're going to see a lot of people A lot of people are not They're going to show of Whom Or what they actually trust in You see When things start When they start When, when people start to get Put in more straight You're going to see of whom they're, Who they put their trust in Who's their guide Whom you know they're leaning upon For their defense We are about to witness These things on a whole Another level Right As we have been preaching or prophesying Of different things to come Right War Evil Pestilence Division All these things are on the rise all these things are on, are on a rise. Complete division and chaos is coming. Pending chaos. Right? People have no clue what's coming upon earth right now. They have absolutely no clue. So verse 4 again says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, Death 
and destruction. And this is what we're telling you. We're telling you that these things are coming. And if you're an Israelite, well, if you're of the elect, you have a chance. Right? Well, it's like you. if you're an Israelite, you have a chance. You know, but if you're of the elect, you're good. Well, we don't know if we're of the elect. We are of the hopeful, hopeful elect. So we're doing the things that we need to do that are pleasing unto Yahweh that will that what that we may be covered, right? That He may cover us, and we are, you know we are healed in His wings. You see, because the things that's coming upon the planet Earth, you're going to need a covering. Right, it's gonna, it's gonna take, it's gonna have to take divine, a divine intervention to stop this devil, this madman. Right, the technology that he has, the weaponry that he has. There is no way you're gonna be able to stand up against this devil. Okay, there's gonna be no way, and that's why we, as the hopeful elect. We're gonna to have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. We're gonna our faith is gonna be tested. Right? Our faith is gonna be tested. So we're gonna to have to put our trust in him more, lean upon him more, because this devil is about to come with it. The scriptures say, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, right? Let's go get that real quick. The book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, it states, it says, Therefore were Jewish ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea For the devil has come down unto you Having great wrath because he knoweth What? Because he knoweth That he hath but a short time So he know that his rulership Is over He know it's on its way out Alright so with him knowing this What is he going to do? Well he's going to come down with great wrath And this wrath he's going to come with Is what? Sw the sword You know because that's all he knows all he knows and all he ever knew was that blessing that he have, which is what? Which is the sword. And best believe he's going to use it. You know, he is going to use it. Verse 6 it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, save the Lord. So what is what do you see happening on the planet Earth? Right? Wickedness. Right? Wickedness is polluting the whole entire earth right now. Answer it. Okay? And what? Scriptures talk about, you know, of this, you know, the, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. You know? Because his light is going to get put out. You see? His light is going to get put out. And this is what the elect, this is what we are waiting for. We're waiting for this devil to get pulled, put out of power. Which he is. Because when the when the Lord Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai back within the with the holy angels, it's over for this devil. Okay, it's going to be over. See, he's going to be proud, and he's still going to be on proud until the time of Yahweh Shai return. Scriptures talk about that they're going to durst fight, even though they they going to lose, even though they know they can't match what the Heavenly Father has, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has, but they're still going to durst fight. Okay, they're still going to fight. But they're going to lose They're going to take that L And he hates For us to tell him that That he's going to take that L You see And all you people are Going to take the L All you people That trust in him All you people That are in league with him And with this This system That he has set up And want this thing to continue You're all about to take this L Okay Because you want Because you want him To still be in power You want this This earth This wickedness To continue Right So verse 7 says Therefore said the Lord I will hold my tongue no more As touching their wickedness Which they profanely commit Neither will I suffer them In those things In which they wickedly Exercise themselves Right It's what they do They wickedly exercise them, Themselves In this, th th these manners And the righteous blood Cry unto me And the souls Of the just Complain continually Right the, But You know The point is like I was saying, you know, these things that we speaking of, these things are coming. These things are going to take place. We at the end of this thing, you know, and then what a few more prophecies left. You got the, the MOTB, which we see, you know, coming right down the pipeline. You know, the, the MOTB coming right down the pipeline. And then the end all be all, you're going to have the 
WW3. WW3, and that's inevitable. And all these nations are what? Getting preparing for as we speak. Day in and day out. You hear rumors, right? Wars and rumors of wars and different things happening and all these different, you know, attentions going on with these different nations. Why? Because the Lord is mustering, is mustering this battle. You know, this battle, which is also known in the Bible, is what we're getting. Because that's coming. But before then, a lot of hell is coming to the earth. A lot of hell, death, and destruction is coming. You see? So all you people that you believe and you trust in this devil and this system, right? That you think is going to work. You have another, you have a rude awakening coming. You know? So let's read verse 4 again. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So if you don't truly trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, it's going to show. And you're going to put, you're going to get put to the test. You know? So just a quick hit. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.